All aboard! Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Shaky Hand Shed where we're going to be taking this Saturn Blue Box SDP-40 and I started it quite a while ago about 7-8 years ago to be exact and I started it before a motorcycle accident and just a word here if I may if you can, subscribe, even better, ring the bell for notifications, and if you give me a thumbs up so others see me, it'll help the channel, and you know you want it. Anyway, here we go. Um, what happened? I had a motorcycle accident, brief story. Nearly lost my leg, had to have my arm pinned back together. So, modelling went on the back burner. And it's been under wraps for, oh, eight years, because I've, in between, I've caught COVID, lived life, had motorcycles, been out on motorcycles, etc. This, that, and other. Anyway, we started off at the point where I'd finished, I'd got it into its main colours, and I'd just started the decals on it root boards at the top of the cab there and to be honest these decals are awful I could have really done with spraying them with some clear before applying them to make them a bit thicker they were terribly brittle they're all decals and that was part of the delay on this project I put the decals down and couldn't find them they turned up the other week, so I thought, yay, I can carry on the project. They are you little rascals. And anyway, there we go, that's the Burlington Northerns cab on. The colour isn't spot on, I just mixed it myself. It could have done with being a bit paler and a little bit different green. But I'm happy enough it does the job. Anybody that knows Burlington Northern knows it's Burlington Northern. And I got this dummy loco because I was missing the handrails. And I'm using the handrails off this one. And I can use them now I've got them as a pattern and put them back on the new Haven one. But it's only a dummy anyway so I don't I don't know if I'd use it, I'd just keep it as spurs. But anyway, we're oiling the chassis here. Putting some oil on, because I know it runs, there's no point in checking if it runs or not. I'm just giving it a loop, because it's been stood for so long. And there we go. Spins round nice and free. Happy days, it'll just need... I just clean the wheels later on, as you'll see. And here, I didn't show me attaching the hand rails, and I had I had to fabricate one of the cab hand rails because I lost it. But I didn't show it because basically it was shaking around like Shakira's bikini. But there we go. And they look really good. But they're not finished. They have to be painted. And for this, I had to rematch the paint. I got it close enough. I mixed it out of a yellow I had and a darker green. And got it close as damn it. You can't really tell by eye. If, if you painted the two on a tester card right next to each other. 
you'd see a difference, but actually on the model, it works. And here we are, I went round all the railings and I've just shown a little bit. And then I did the rest off camera. As with doing the white, for the visibility, painting it onto the on rails so the steps were visible whilst working at night you'd presume I mean you wouldn't do white so it were visible in snow I presume and there we go just painting down there as I say I'm just doing I'm not fully finishing them off I finished them off where I could sit down with it and brace my arms decent I struggle a wee bit without being able to brace myself so I just do the basic bit so it can show on video and what I'm doing here I'm just spraying over with some Vallejo premium varnish and I'm using a satin finish so it's not as reflected, if it's going over gloss I would never grab it with a gloss green I wanted it all to be satin and tie I think it looks good, you don't get any heavy reflections off it like you do with gloss and it doesn't look really dull like Matt does just a bit, just about right finish for them satin And there we go, I, I just put an amount in my hair blood and used it up. And here what I'm doing, I've wedged wires onto the motor and I'm leaving it running while I'm just cleaning the wheels with a little bit of... It's warm sandpaper. It's pretty warm. And what I'm doing here, I'm putting the glass back in. It, does, it was actually broken when I bought it in half, but it goes in nicely and settles in. And here we are putting the second bit in. Putting that bit in. Get them working together and then the cab roof can go back up. And anyway, here we go. There's the finished item coming in. Looking brilliant in its Burlington Northern livery. And its new on rails. I've also put some couplings on it. Some KDs and... It's looking mighty fancy. Here we are, a slow pass by. The lights working as well inside the cab. It's a pretty loco, another pretty one to add the to the collection. And there we go, a bit quicker past again. And slow past. Pull up for a little bit. And it looks really nice. I'm really happy I've finished this one because it's one of the ones that's really bugged me since my accident and I've got various things and the reason for me shaky hands it's progressively getting worse I don't know whether I, when I'll have to jack this I'll be in at least making small stuff I don't think I'll jack in running the trains I can still manage that but I hope to build a layout, but you never know. I'm having failing health, is what I'm saying. But anyway, on a brighter note, this is where we started. A left, left to decay SDP-40 from Athern, full of dust, and it's needing a little help, is what I'm saying. It's definitely needing help, and here it is. After the Alp, 
It's looking a lot better clean. Sprayed up with a nice satin finish. It's got its decals applied, its handrails on. It's got couplings and it, it's had the wheels cleaned and lubricated. So it's good to go. It's good to go, I guess is what I'm saying. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, as I've said, please subscribe. And as we say here in Lancashire, and you know what I'm going to say, Tatty Pie, everyone. Tatty Pie.